Welcome to the Arts in Medicine studio. It is so hot. I'm in the air condition and it simply doesn't help. Lizzie, how are you doing in the heat? Yeah, it is hot in here. Wow. I don't know. I wish we were at the studio because in our beautiful yellow studio, we have a kitchen and this sink allows us to fill up buckets and buckets of water for so many different reasons. Sometimes it's to just throw stuff in it. Sometimes is to pretend cook. Sometimes we actually scoop all the beads and the glitter and the stuff and we put it on a canvas and mix it up to make some kind of a painting that's made out of all that's sinking in the water. So I was thinking with Lizzie being an artist that I adore, maybe she can help us figure out an exercise that is not gonna be so messy because I'm not there to clean it up, but would be inspiring on a hot day and maybe on not so hot day. Lizzie, would you share with us something that could be fun to do on a hot summer day that maybe made from what we have in our art boxes? And if you don't have one, let me know, I'll get you one. Nitsa. The stories that you're telling about the studio and working with the water are super inspiring to me. And it's funny that you mentioned them because I was just working on a project that involved water. Perfect. If you want to follow along or make your own version, you'll need just some watercolors, some brushes, a little bit of water, and some salt. You can use any kind you want, the rock kind or the fine kind. To get started, what I was interested in doing is seeing what happened when I first wet the whole surface of the paper. So I took my brush and just using water, I went over the surface and put a clear coating of water. Then when I laid down some watercolor paint, I noticed that the new watercolor, which has a little bit of pigment in it, spread and became kind of fuzzy in the water. And that became perfect to create the fur of a cat. After I made these fuzzy cats, I decided I wanted to create something kind of wild around them, some kind of starry night. So I took a little bit of table salt and I sprinkled it right on the surface of the paper. Then using different colors and different brushes, I went over the salt and when it dried, it created these beautiful speckles and crystallized in some places so that I got these really interesting patterns. So you see that water can really be an awesome tool if you want to play around, even using watercolors or in any kind of project. And it's a great way to cool down. I feel cooler already. I think that your way is really cool, but I also know that your way is really cool out there. So get that watercolor paper. Don't make an ocean on it. Just maybe a little wetness. Maybe make a lake to see how that goes, but experiment. You may be able to discover some new scientific methods that you could share with us. Also, if you have alcohol wipes, you could try that. I'm not telling you what's gonna happen. Maybe you're gonna tell me by writing to anita at gmail.com. And Lizzie, you made my day. I can't wait to try it myself. Bye-bye. Awesome. Bye.